Welcome to the October 2007 video podcast from Imaginova Studios. October is a great month for evening stargazing. Cooler nights and earlier sunsets make it easier for the whole family to enjoy. Let's take a look at what this month has to offer. We're saying our final goodbyes to the summer constellations. On October 1st, cast your gaze to the south at dusk. The teapot shape of Sagittarius makes its final show for the year. Sagittarius marks the center of our galaxy. See that steam rising up out of the teapot spout? You are looking into a spiral arm of our own Milky Way galaxy. Follow that steam upward through the constellation Cygnus, the swan for an incredibly rich field of stars. Ahead of Cygnus, a hidden gem presents itself in binoculars. It's the asterism known as the Coat Hanger Cluster. This unusual arrangement of stars looks just like a coat hanger, only upside down. Let's move on to the eastern sky. Did you know that you can see a distant galaxy with the naked eye? The Andromeda Galaxy, or M31, is an easy target in dark skies. Look for the faint smudge in the sky, using Cassiopeia to point the way. The Andromeda Galaxy is flanked by companion galaxies M32 and M110, visible only in telescopes. Although you can see the bright core of the Andromeda Galaxy, you might be surprised to know that it actually takes up more sky than the full moon. Let's move forward to the night of October 20th and the early morning of October 21st, the peak of the Orionids meteor shower. This meteor shower seems to radiate from the constellation Orion and it's all happening courtesy of Comet Halley, which was last seen in 1986. As our Earth travels through the debris left by the comet, we see meteors streaking across the sky. To see a meteor shower, you need clear, dark skies. Warm clothing is recommended. Let's move on to October 27th and the planet Venus. This date marks the greatest distance between the Sun and Venus in our morning sky. Early risers can see Earth's sister planet rising up long before the Sun makes an appearance. Take a look through a telescope at this beautiful morning jewel and you will see that it's showing its crescent phase just like the Moon. Interested in learning more? Finder charts, observing tips, and other great stargazing tools available online at space.com slash night sky. Graphics for this video podcast created with the award-winning Starry Night Planetarium software. Thanks for watching and clear skies!